At Saab, where the concept of quality dominates every phase of the production, controlled testing is an important and continually recurring factor. With the help of instruments, the test track and testing devices, this controlled testing is done under conditions which match reality and often exceed it. The Saab's high quality and the soundness of its basic construction, featuring a two-cycle engine and front-wheel drive, have made the car especially suitable for racing. At Saab in Trollhättan, Sweden, the racing department goes over the cars after every rally. It's a thorough inspection that doesn't miss a single detail. Here they can see how Saab's quality holds up against the strains of a rally. The performance is recorded and offers invaluable help in developing the construction and production methods of the future. Control testing and the preparations for forthcoming racing achievements go hand in hand. The detailed planning required for participation in any international rally is done here at the headquarters of the Saab crews. This planning is an absolute prerequisite to car and driver being able to turn in the outstanding performances that have placed Saab among the leaders in automobile racing. thousand rally miles in Europe and Africa, a short cavalcade that begins in Oslo, Norway, with a Monte Carlo rally, won twice before by Saab and Eric Carlson. Will the combination win a third time, or will the honors go to one of the many other stars who are starting from Oslo? The answer won't be known until the participants reach the little French town of Chambéry. Before this, many long and grueling miles will be logged on their way down through Europe. Stretches covered by ice and snow show the differences in driving style. Who Jungfeldt in his Speedy Falcon. Tom Trana, as usual with his very wide turns. And Eric Coulson, taking the curves gracefully without any noticeable skidding. In car number 131, Gunnar Palm steadily chants the driving orders to Eric Carlson. Mile after mile, nothing is left to chance. Monaco's Grand Prix track, without any handicap, offers some fine drama. Jungfeldt ingeniously uses his speed and moves up a few notches. But there's no competing with Hopkirk. The Irishman squeezes out the Swedes to become the sensation of the rally.
The Safari Rally is one of the most grueling in the world. This event not only fascinates the animals as it moves through Africa, but people as well. All eyes are on Eric Carlson and Pat Moss after their outstanding performance the previous year. Will Eric become the first non-African driver to win the rally? A long and difficult route await Carlson and Palm as they move out into the dark night on their journey through the African bush. Over several days, they speed through the deserted wilderness, at times threatened not only by wild animals, but also other dangers like non-existent roads, made completely impassable by the torrential rains. Fascinated by the white Swedish sob, the local people helped move the car out of the mud. Eric Carlson advanced steadily to the top of the rally and came away with second place, the best performance ever attained by a non-African driver. From the bad roads in Africa, where Saab really showed what it can do, to the Tulip Rally, with its broad, fine asphalt roads, down through Europe, to the Alps, and back again to Holland. A rally known for its speed, with a track and hill test as the decisive event. Grand Prix track and Sanford in Holland. The big question, can Pat Moss once more capture the women's class and add to her unbelievably fine record in this rally with still another win? Pat did win again and the men's championship went to Finland's Timo Meikkonen. From asphalt highways to Swedish gravel roads and the rally to the midnight sun with its traditional start from Kalberg, Sweden's military academy outside Stockholm. Lampanen, the 22-year-old Finnish champion, was also a Saab entry along with Eric Carlson and Pat Moss. The rally traditionally draws many spectators. Driving off through the Swedish summer landscape is Bud Jungfeldt in his Falcon. And here is a sample of Lampanen style, which later in the year wins him the Jeveskula Rally in Finland. Other favorites are Tom Trana, the final winner, Eric Carlson, Pat Moss, and Uwe Anderson.
Allskuga's Motor Stadium in central Sweden, enthusiastic spectators were packed in like sardines in a can. Uwe Andersen came away as the leading soft driver after Eric Carlson turned over, attempting the art of driving on two wheels in one of the curves at Kiev's airfield. Our auto racing cavalcade includes the Polish rally. Interesting because it's here the world championship title among national teams is decided. And it was Sweden that drove off with the top prize ahead of its foremost competition, Italy. For the first time, Sweden could display the rally's first place team honors. The winning team included two Saab drivers, Eric Carlson and Uwe Andersen, Volvo drivers Tom Trana and Carl Magnus Koo. The Polish rally offers some rough spots. Especially difficult is the stretch over the high Tatra. Eric Carlson came in second in the overall competition after a dramatic final night when he ran out of gas going over the mountain. A motorcyclist rescued the Saab driver who is the best Swedish motorist in this important rally. But Pat Morse, Mrs. Carlson, was almost breathing down his neck, coming in third. England, the RAC rally, which started off this time from London. The first stages, including all of Wales and the famous speed track, Ulton Park, were run through thick fog. From here, the rally moved north, through the Scottish Highlands. Carlson, who won this rally three times before, and Tom Trana, who had won it once before, attracted the most attention as they forged on through the dense Scottish woods. Ice in the far north caused a crash between Trana and Carlson. But Pat Morse Carlson came through without any great difficulty, and as usual, finished out in front in the women's class. Over 60,000 rally miles, the score for Saab is impressive. Two first place wins, six second place honors, and five third place awards. Saab's accomplishments in auto racing obviously mean prestige and international fame. Of far greater importance, these achievements provide a living declaration of Saab quality for you, the average car buyer.